I first came to Madeira in the year 2000. Yes, I was very young, thank you. Since then, I've returned many times and I want to share with you my absolute favorites from this beautiful Atlantic island. I'm starting my top five with what I think is the most alluring resort on the island. In a very crowded field, it's Porto Moniche. A resort I love because of the volcanic sculptures that nature has created. Some lovely places to stay, eat, drink, and just watch the wild Atlantic. To savour the warm ocean water rather than just gazing at it, swim in the volcanic rock pools that tame the Atlantic into nature's water park. Making a splash anywhere in Madeira is great fun, especially in the volcanic rock pools here in Porto Moniche. Bliss! For my second pick, I'm going to the opposite end of the altitude spectrum and a Madeiran original. Since the first settlers arrived from Portugal six centuries ago, humanity has helped shape the island. Meet the Levada. Highlands of Madeira look like a natural wilderness, yet they conceal a gigantic hydrological project with thousands of kilometres of irrigation channels and paths beside them, which makes for wonderful walking. The Levada is found only in Madeira. These channels were ingeniously devised to distribute water from the west and northwest of the island to irrigate the drier southeast. You can organise your own linear walking trip using the excellent maps that are available and working with the very good local bus schedules, or sign up for a group tour. The hike ends at what even by Madeiran standards is a spectacular location, a natural balcony from which you can look down on the laurel forest which still covers one fifth of the island. Here's another experience you're only going to find in Madeira, a gravity assisted descent using some fairly rudimentary kit. Who are these interesting gentlemen? Perhaps they're going boating. Maybe they're pork pie salesmen or cricketers. In fact, they're practitioners of a very ancient and effective form of transport. I'm in Mont, a hilltop town that's the home of one of the world's most unusual forms of transport, the Carro de Sesto. Simply a wicker basket attached to wooden runners, devised two centuries ago to carry produce downhill to Funchal, guided by a couple of carreros, the men who steer the contraption and stop it running away and reaching terminal velocity. You have never felt anything like this. You feel as though you're gliding down a hill. You've got a superb view of Funchal laid out beneath you. And yet, here you are in effectively a straw sledge and <laughs> a bit of basket going round corners on a normal public road. And my goodness, it's exhilarating. And well, these guys, the fantastic Carreros de Monte, they know what they are doing. If you're a solo traveller, team up with someone else to save cash on this makeshift toboggan ride, like a fairground attraction that's been released into the wild. The baskets are emptied on the outskirts of Funchal, the capital, whose cultural wealth is my fourth highlight. I think the most exciting cultural development of the past decade in Madeira is the Design Centre, the work of a globally recognised designer who happens to be from the island's capital. 
Nini Andrade Silva won the worldwide competition to transform the centuries-old fort into a place of meeting and sharing, a laboratory of ideas. It has a permanent exhibition, part of her private collection, with works that are strong, almost organic, and which guide the eye to appreciate every curve and contour. It's amazing. It's like if you are in the middle of the sea, but safe. It's really very nice. It's special, it's in my island, in Madeira. And this project, this design center, in our days is a place where everybody who comes to Madeira comes here. Born in 1985, incredibly successful for the past two decades and still paid a fortune to travel the world. No, not me, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, perhaps the greatest football player of all time is a Madeiran. And however many glittering prizes the celebrated number seven has won for clubs, including Manchester United, Real Madrid and Juventus, as well as the Portuguese national team, Ronaldo has never forgotten his roots. If you're into football, you will be in heaven here. You'll even find out how to take a free kick like Cristiano. But even if you're not a great football fan, I think you will still love it because it tells you about one man's incredible success story and what it means for the island. I've saved the best of Madeira to last and to introduce the winner, let's first hear from Beth and Miriam, two hikers from Northern England who I met while they were having the time of their lives. Mm -hmm. So much to do here, it just had a bit of everything. There's like canyoning and there's walking, people are really friendly here. Mm -hmm. Yes, completing the top five is the warm, welcoming and always hospitable people of Madeira. If you don't bring an appetite, you will find it here. Here you have the traditional espetada, in here we serve in a laurel stick, that is our uh, traditional way. Basically it's food for everybody. You have a gourmet thing or things more elaborated but you also have a, a steak with fries. So everybody is welcome to have dinner. It's easy to please everybody. <laughs> it's my life. I mean it's a natural gift. Thanks God for that. And um, I make people happy with food and with painting. So that's really 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 good. Every zip you, you put in your mouth, you just want to have another one and another one, and it's explosion of flavors, really. Enjoy the mountains, the forest. Yeah, that's it. Cocktail is like that. <laughs> Madeira, it's a paradise. <laughs>